Okay, now let us go after we have created maintained business process and sub processes. Um, so some of these configurations that you do uh, will are uh, you know are needed for cross uh, modules. Okay, meaning you know business processes and sub processes. You will see it uh, when in e, um, ARA, then you will see it in BRM as well as ARM. Okay. Uh, similarly, you need data sources configuration if you are implementing uh, uh, ARM okay, for user provisioning because this step you are basically specifying uh, what what is your data source so the user uh, what is your uh, what do you call uh, user repository okay so if you have multiple systems as your user repositories like you could have uh, uh, user IDs in PeopleSoft, you could have user IDs in Active Directory, right? And like any application, right? And many times what happens is mm, the user IDs in all these applications may, for one same person would be different. Okay, so you, if you want to map the user IDs, then you know, for as a with a common user ID or master user ID, then you do it using master user ID mapping, but we'll see that. But this data sources is basically where your user repository is, okay? Uh, it could be Active Directory, which is your LDAP system, it could be your HR system for that matter. So you need to specify uh, certain uh, in that pieces of information here, okay? So let's read the documentation and see what it says okay so it says in this customer customizing activity you maintain the connector information required for access control to retrieve user authentic and authentication information from other data sources okay so if you have hr system then you have your active directory system you have your people's off system whichever right so you maintain that source here, data source here. So let's execute it. And uh, you have three, four, three steps mainly to maintain here, okay? So you search the data source if you're provisioning, okay, creating a new user ID, right? Uh, for example, an ARM, so you're submitting a request, then which is the sequence uh, in which you, the system, GRC system, access control system needs to go and look for the user IDs. So let's click on new entries and let's create, uh, let's say we want to search our S4 HANA system as the first step when, okay, for searching the user IDs and our data source is going to be SU01. So if you have a HR system, then you click on HR here, okay. If you have LDAP connector, then you would get the LDAP option also here. So let's click select that enter it save it and if it prompts you for a transport request put it in a transport request go back okay now that is the first time right? we want you to, we want the system to search for our s4 hana system for as our first data source you can click on new entries and then you can put in your next system that you want to use so for your user ID search okay so like this you can keep on adding whatever you know number of systems you want GRC access control to search for user IDs okay for, and again, remember this is used during user provisioning in ARM okay next this once this is done then you go and select the user detail data source so get the de you details of the user ids right so you do the same steps again and let's say number two now so this is number one and then again use the data type is this is zero one okay save it and uh, now go and add the second system also whatever systems you have right you add all of them here for creating the user details. So the second system is our ECC system. The sequence I want to go is two, and then user data type is again two, IC01.
Now the next step that you need to specify is the user authentication data sources. Right? So click on the same date, same information. Okay, that your first authentication needs to be done against your S4 HANA system and the user data type is SC01. Save it. Go back. Okay. And then click on new entries again. And now this time you pick your second, the other systems in your, not this one. This one. Okay. This is your second system. And then you pick you SC01. Okay, save it. Okay, so the last step you have is uh, this one end user uh, EU, you know, verification we put no here and save it. Okay, so let's go and search. Okay, so EHP CLNT is the one. Let's see this. See this. So we have our sequences here. So now, how does this impact uh, in your system? So I think there is a problem with this. Let's move this to yes again. We'll come to come to this later. Okay. Okay. Now let's go and verify this in Active in. Uh, NWBC. Okay, so how do we verify this, right? So, for example, now when I go to Access Management and create a new request, right? So, what do you do? So, when you create a request, and let's say if you want to modify this, okay? Just an example. So, I'm going to say self because I want to, let's say, I'm trying to add a role to the user ID or whatever. So when you go to user details, right? So here and we said change account, okay? Because uh, we need to, we are changing the account, right? As a demo. So let's restart again. So in this page, let's go to access request. So let's say I'm just say to give a description. I'm not going to submit this anyway. So instead of creating new account, just say I'm saying change account, right? For my own user ID. Okay, and then I go to user details. Okay, so let's try again. Um, there was a problem when we did this a few minutes back. I the sync jobs that we needed did not run. So I ran the sync job for my is for HANA connector. I am going to run this for my ECC HANA connector also. But in the meanwhile, let's go and check what's happening with this. Okay, so the data sets com com uh, concept is that you know if you want to search, okay, you're basically specifying uh, what is your search system for your data, uh, user ID uh, uh, repository, okay, so in the access request form, for example, to just to understand, so I'm going to change, I try to change a user ID and then give a user ID here, for example, and just say, I'm going to say SP others, okay, and let me pick SAP HANA admin, okay, which is in our uh, S S4 HANA system, okay, so when you hit the enter key, okay, that's not the right user ID, I guess, so let's go and search for it, Okay, okay, so the right user ID is HP HANA admin. Okay, now let's take this. And if you see the whatever information you have mentioned in the backend system, 
in the ISO nano system that automatically populates. Okay, so that's the whole idea about uh, data source uh, configuration. Okay, so just to specify what your which your uh, data sources for user uh, user search and let's go to pro. Okay, so. Access control and then go to data sources and this is where you specify what your data sources are okay all right